Hi everyone, Mr. Lockwood here. Hope everybody had a good Easter break, or if you got a break and don't celebrate Easter, hope you enjoyed your break. If you didn't get a break, I'm sorry, and hopefully you'll get one next year or next time. Today's video, we're going to have a look at this Z Icon Euro cylinder or half Euro that Noctus Motus very generously sent through to me. Got a nice jagged type keyway. It appears quite paracentric, but with the right type of pick, high reach one, we can come in through that warding and get to all of the pins very nicely. It's interesting keying. Um, the lowest cuts are at the back, so if it was around that way and the key bow was over here, it'd probably be more challenging. Lovely lock, works lovely. Its name's Norbert, um, named after the person who sent it to Noctus Motus. Uh, Norbert Lover 68, so in a roundabout way, thank you. And in the vise, the cam portion will yeah, cam only allows that much rotation, but that's still enough to pick it. Oh, it should be. I hope it is. So we've got her in the vise. Top of keyway tension. And light tension. Or medium. We'll see how we go. Touch six, we get a click out of it. To click out of five on four, let's just drop six, let's just drop five. I'm going to click out of four, It'll reset six and five, I'm going to click out of three, but we've just dropped six, five. Four's where it was. Three appears to be set now. Click out of two. Let's see which one we dropped. Six. Five. Four. And we dropped three. Feel our way through. See which ones are still set and which ones aren't. One's still springy. Six. Crunch out of five, not a click. More of a click out of four though. A bit of a crunch out of three. Okay. Nothing on one still. Six. Click out of five. Nothing on four. Nothing on three. Click out of six. Nothing on five. May I just overset four? Nothing on three, two, or one. And either we've got something not just not set, or we've got an overset six, five. Four, keep slipping off the tip of. Okay, that's three. And two. So 
I did have an overset on one of them. But working my way through the pins like that. Managed to drop it back down again. Okay. Well, it's unlocked. Even though I just over-rotated it. So now we can lock it back up. Actually... Get that cam out first, lock it back up, and then go through the process of getting this apart. Hmm. There's a certain way to disassemble this um, Euro. I've had a quick look at how it's pieced together just so that I didn't spend forever dismantling it. I've got this little brass keeper. I'll put him aside. And then we'll come back around again find the right okay that one's not it move that out of the way now we're going to have a little bit more luck Okay, this is inner collar. We'll set that aside. The other inner collar, which actually takes up a little bit more of the circle. And we can take the plug out of the end. This little keyway, which locks it all, keeps it all locked together. And now, we should be able to, if I lift that up, I need to get underneath this spring-loaded clip. Apologies for this. There we go, and now, knowing my luck, that's going to come flying out. No, just into the next brass, hole in the brass. Come on. Put an extra layer up under there.
Okay. I honestly don't think that's going to come free until we've got that plug out of the way. So put that in there and we'll put our don't even know if I'm going to be able to push in through there. Oh, okay. So we can get a shim in there at least. Hopefully, I don't mess this up too badly. I'll pull that plug forward a little bit. And we'll get our tweezers under that shim and try and fit him in a little bit better. No. I'm just going to have to pull that plug forward a little bit more. And there we have it. Hopefully that's the hard part done. Now we can just follow don't get stuck. And I've gone and fluffed it. Alright. Put that aside. Turn this up this way. <clears throat> what a mess. No, oh, no, that would have come out of pin one. That's out of pin two. Right. What a mess. So we've got steel pin at the front for anti drill or drill resistance and brass for the rest of them. Get these pins out. So it's master keyed, which probably made it a little bit easier to pick. And so far, they've all been standard pins. Jeez, it's a long keeping. Nothing different about the plug. Well, I do like the fact that it is rounded over the top rather than the poorer finish Abus ones that have been filed. Not all Abus get that treatment either, but it's sad to see when they do because it reduces their overall effectiveness. So we've got a steel standard in pin one. We'll get these springs out as we go. Little bright brass or copper spring. Maybe bronze. Chunky spool in pin two. Looks like a mini dumbbell. Same spring, 
got same spool in pin three. Same type of spring in pin three. And we'll start coming from the other side. Take that shim out. I've got a standard in pin six. It seems all these springs are the same. I should probably just wait until the end, but we've gone this way so far, so may as well keep going. Got a standard. Where'd that go? Standard in pin five. Brass. And last but not least, another spool. In pin four, the same type of bright spring. Oh, things are just not going my way tonight. And nothing different. So this does have milled out grooves, so I wonder is there a sidebar variant? Interesting. Here's our pins. The master wafer in one and two. I'm just out of curiosity. They are the same size, so it wouldn't really matter which one went back in where. It's good, less chance for me to stuff it up anyway. Well, all in all, very interesting pick. Even if I did manage to stuff up the gutting. Give me a chance and I'll definitely fluff stuff like this up. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for the lock noctus modus and if you've watched this far thanks for watching sorry for the extra long video the picking itself wasn't too bad but the follow-on took time i'll see you next time